Hi, this is Harold in China. Today I'm going to be talking from inside because a lot has happened. I want to really focus on the content today. So the first is a personal thing. Again, this weekend I was locked in my apartment or at least in my building. We had a close proximity case in the building and so they closed the building to check uh, if there was any positive cases. Luckily there wasn't. So after two days uh, we were out again. And um, I have to say, I mean, it can be personally very annoying. Of course, I wasn't happy to miss that nice weekend. But on the other hand, I do see the bigger picture. And I think that's a sentiment that most Chinese share, that overall it's good to be able to contain an unknown virus. And I have to be really careful what I say on YouTube so that my channel doesn't get taken down or video gets uh, refused by YouTube. But there are like four points that recently have turned up or that we have to take into consideration. The first is, of course, famous American professor Jeffrey Sachs, who was uh, in a fact-finding mission about the origins of that certain uh, virus, that he says very clearly he's convinced the virus comes from an American lab. And um, I will link the video, let him say it in his own words, but that's the first indicator. The second one, recently I heard of a research request from 2020 where an American university two years ago uh, wanted to start researching into the Omicron strain, which again is very weird because at that time nobody talked of Omicron. It wasn't even known that there was such a strain to the public. So that's another very weird thing. The third one, of course, uh, biolabs in Ukraine. Now, I don't know what was researched there, but I'm very certain that they were there because that's what Victoria Newland uh, under oath confirmed, that there were American biolabs in Ukraine. And it's, of course, conceivable that they were there in order to not be bound by laws that prohibit certain types of research in the US. Um, gain of function comes to mind. However, and here's the fourth thing, last week uh, a, a research paper was published about a university in the US taking that virus that must not be named and making it more deadly so that eight out of ten mice died in a research experiment. And given all those four things together, I'm honestly happy to live in a country where I can say the government is able and society is also capable to, to comply and work together to contain a virus that's unknown, a virus that there's no medication against. I mean, I know in the current virus we already have, you know, all these methods, jabs and whatnot that we shouldn't talk about on YouTube. Um, but what if a worse variant after some gain of function additions uh, comes into the world. And, you know, is it biological warfare? Is it on purpose? Is it a lab leak? Is it um, an accident? Whatever, it doesn't matter. If this type of virus really is unleashed on humanity, it's good to have methods. And I think that's what China is researching right now. Methods to be able to contain a completely unknown virus where there's no medication and no jabs and nothing. So that's for me the big picture where I say, all right, <laughs> I'll sacrifice a weekend for this bigger cause without complaining. 